Hello, savages. How are you guys doing? It is um, 10.30 p.m. Costa Rica time, and I've been on my laptop since early this morning. No gym today, um, just because it's rest day, although I typically do like to go in on a Sunday and get some work done, but uh, Sundays are crazy for us, as you guys know. Um, they're only crazy for us because we have awesome people like you guys who um, support us and like what we do and join us, so thank you for that. Because without crazy Sundays, I'd be probably back at home working a corporate health and safety job uh, for an oil company. So the ability to do what I do is um, is huge. And the ability to be able to like affect change in people's lives is huge. Um, not that I... It's kind of like... it's. I don't even know if I'm going to post this video. I, I didn't really plan anything for this video, but I'm, I'm just doing check-ins right now and... Um, I wanted to touch on something. I don't even know how I'm going to get this point across. My brain is numb from staring at a screen all day. Um, but I'm going to talk to you guys about something which guys don't really talk about um, too much. And we don't talk about it because it's it's not the manly thing to talk about. And I'm, I'm not going to get into therapy or anything like that. Like, hey, your, tra your, your trainer's crazy again. Uh, that's not where we're going tonight. Um... Where we're going tonight is um, is just on like vanity and and the process and how it can change you and how that change isn't a bad thing, you know. Um, there's so much like criticism in society, you know. People want to try to tell you how you can dress and how you can speak and what's cool. And we grow up with all these weird ideas in school of like what's success and what's happiness and what's this and what's that, right? And we're just, we're slammed with these things on a constant basis. And one thing that we never really encounter and one thing that we become critical of is a little bit of vanity. And um, I'm here to tell you that vanity isn't necessarily a bad thing. And I'm going to explain why. It's going to get a little deeper than kind of just some of the surface stuff I've laid out here. But um, getting fit for me and going from that insecure little kid who, you know, got dumped on his face when he was 15 years old on the bus by some guy in grade 300 who had failed a thousand times and kicked my ass and called me fat and sent me home. Um, that was probably one of the most single impactful uh, parts of my life. Um, and I'm going to explain why. The reason why is because it was at that moment where I was affected and I looked in the mirror. I went I went home after I get my ass kicked. I was young. I went in the mirror and I looked in the mirror and I kind of saw myself. And that guy told me that I was fat. So in my own brain, I was fat. And I was instantly not good enough. I had no concept of, you know, I was young. I didn't have a concept of what was fat and what was skinny and why fat was bad or, or what I had done wrong. But society told me that by, through this experience that, hey man, you're fat. And so in my own head, I instantly became fat. And I went in and I looked at, I looked at myself in that mirror and then it was a winter day, I'll never forget it, Newfoundland. And I strapped on my shoes and I went out and I ran up an icy hill for about five kilometers. It probably fell a thousand times. And I got to the top of that hill and I threw up. And I came back down that hill and I got back to the house and I threw up again. And that was the start of what became an incredible journey. But it all started with somebody creating this idea in my head that I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't good enough for them, I wasn't good enough for society, and I wasn't good enough for life, and I was different, or I was this, or I was that. And um, I think the whole process of kind of, you know, fitness and all that kind of stuff was started by this negative event. And I've done, I've done a lot of, like, self-exploration over the last little while. And um, I used that as a trigger. And what I didn't know at the time was that I was bettering myself, uh, not just physically. Like, for example, I, I went home and I puked and I puked and I came home and puked again. And then the next day I did it again and I did it again and I did it again. I became infatuated with all these pictures of these guys who were these huge monsters who were like the epitome of fit on these bodybuilding magazines, these, these flex magazines. I was like, I want to be like that guy because not being fit is bad and 
I'm, and, and that's bad because somebody told me because I got dumped on my face and blah, 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 blah. And uh, for a long time, it was just about, it was about insecurity. It was about overcoming that insecurity. And what I didn't realize throughout that journey is that by overcoming that insecurity, I was improving myself. And the way that I was improving myself wasn't in the sense that I was getting stronger or I was getting better. But as I started to prove to myself that I had control over the way that I looked and the way that I felt about myself, because as I started to get myself in a better shape, even though this is this weird foreign idea that I wasn't good enough was implemented by this whole event, I started to gain self-confidence because I started to respect myself and I started to treat myself better and I started to eat better and I started to like the way that I looked. And fitness, is, fitness and, and self-growth is so much more than just becoming fit. But I built an idea in my head and I began to see an idea in my head that I was worthy. I was worthy of, I was worried, I was, I was worthy of the ability to love myself, right? I was worthy of feeling comfortable in my own skin. I was, I was worthy of, of evolving, you know, like I was worried, I was worthy of feeling good about myself, man. Society feeds us so much shit on a daily basis. Excuse my language. Society feeds us so much shit on a daily basis, telling us that we're not good enough for ourselves and by breaking down these barriers of insecurity I started to realize that a if I could control the way my body looked I could control a lot of other things in my life that I didn't realize I had control over and as I started to love myself and I started to feel comfortable in my own skin I started to realize that deep down I was a pretty good guy like I had a good heart I was generous you know um, I was a good guy and that it was okay to feel good about myself and it was okay to allow that to manifest into other things in my life. I mean, the discipline that I built through um, playing rugby and kickboxing and working out just ended up translating over to the discipline to be able to do well in school, the discipline to be able to do well at a job, the discipline to, to, to know that I was worthy of good relationships. You know, we're, as I said, we're, we're spoon fed so much shit by society you know, that, that we're not, we're not good enough. And that, that ingrains it in our cells. And when we finally start to realize, and this is part of the reason why I'm talking about this, because I kind of had a little bit of an aha moment with, uh, with one of you guys tonight, and I'm not going to point out any names or anything like that, but it was, it was rewarding because it's very similar of a process that I went through. And I realized that that's what really attracts me to this thing is getting people to have that aha moment, not just getting in shape, but just realizing that they're worthy and that they are in control and that they can make changes and that it's okay to feel good about yourself. It's okay to like yourself. It's okay to love yourself. It's okay to invest time in yourself and it's okay to be cool with yourself, right? Um, because if you don't respect you, nobody else will. And then when you start to build up that strength and you start to see changes in your body and you start to enjoy those changes and you start to enjoy the, the differences that, you know, the differences that, um, that the hormones create in your body and, and the differences that you see in your physicality, that um, that's, that's a beautiful thing. I don't work out anymore. I've really kind of evolved over the last few years. I don't work out anymore so much because I have something to prove. I'm not that scared little kid anymore. Um, now I work out because I love it and because I love me and because by working out and gaining that confidence in myself and feeling good about that aspect of my life, I can feel good about all the other aspects of my life. And I don't have anything to prove to anybody anymore. I really don't, you know, and because I don't have anything to prove to anybody anymore, I become a stronger individual. But not only that, less of my insecurities are able to manifest to the surface. And because of that, I've become nicer, not only to myself, but to, in the way that I treat others, because I don't, it's just one less barrier that I have. It's just one less hang up that I have, you know? So the whole transformation thing is a beautiful thing when you hit that moment and you look in the mirror and you're like, yeah, like, I like this. I like this guy that I see. And there's nothing wrong with that. And don't let anybody take that away from you. Don't let anybody give you a shit about that because 
ultimately, the more, the better that you feel about yourself, if you're a relatively well-balanced person, the better you're going to act in society, the better you're going to treat others, and uh, the better your life is going to become. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that enjoy the process. When you see those changes, don't feel guilty. Don't feel guilty about feeling good about yourself. Because there's so many things that life tells us we've got to feel guilty about or, you know, we've got to act a certain way or feel a certain way about this. You know what I mean? Nobody can take that away from you. And by allowing yourself to fall in love with yourself again, you're going to notice some really, really positive changes in your life. So um, kind of a rant, but I guess what I'm trying to get at is that it's okay to pursue physicality and it's okay to feel good about yourself. And it's okay to want to feel good about yourself. And you'll notice that when you start feeling good about yourself, you'll start acting better and you'll start treating others better because deep down you just have one last hang up. So kind of a rant. Um, I really love doing check-ins. I love it. I hate it, but I love it. It's a lot of work, but you guys get me fired up. So just keep doing your thing. Keep pushing guys. We got uh, two more weeks left. I'm going to give you a little bit of a video tomorrow with a little bit more content, but my mind was rolling. My mind was spinning. I'm really proud of you guys. Um, and just keep pushing and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> Have a good night guys. Take care and don't do anything I wouldn't do unless it's interesting. We'll see you later.